Welcome back. This time we are doing the scroll viewer control. This is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial because unless you need very complex styling, the scroll viewer works right out of the box very easily. So to get started, just make a stack panel and fill it up with text boxes until your window is full. So in this tutorial, these text boxes, our stack panel, this whole UI layout doesn't really matter. What does matter is that we have some control or set of controls on a UI and if our UI can be resized in any way, be that stretching the window, using a grid splitter, using an expander in a row or a column, then these controls have the possibility of being inaccessible or hidden. And we can't get to them, we can't see them, and we need some way that if our UI changes, we need to be able to see or access those controls. One of the easiest ways to do this is with a scroll viewer. And just like our expander, all you really need to do is make a scroll viewer and then put what you want to be scrollable inside of it. And just like that, we have a scroll bar right here on the right side. Now when we run it, if we resize our window, all of a sudden we have the ability to scroll through our control that lives in the scroll viewer. It really is just as simple as that for being able to scroll any resized control. However, there are a few common properties to make it do exactly what you want. So when we first added our stack panel to the scroll viewer, we saw this vertical scroll bar show up and it's grayed out because the window has enough room for the control and there's nothing to scroll. So that property is called vertical scroll bar visibility. If we didn't need a vertical scroll bar, we could disable it, we could hide it, we could show it, or we could set it to auto. Now this is my preference because if the control fits in the space, we don't need the scroll bar to be there at all, taking up our space. And now when we resize our window, it only shows up when we need it to. And that makes it look a little bit cleaner to me. That being said, when we first added the stack panel to the scroll viewer, our vertical scroll bar showed up. So we know the default vertical scroll bar visibility is visible, but we don't see a horizontal scroll bar. And that's because the default horizontal scroll bar visibility is disabled. And that means even if we didn't have this property here, the default behavior of the scroll viewer is that if we resize horizontally, we're never going to be able to scroll horizontally. So if you need a horizontal scroll bar, you need to add this property and change it to either auto, hidden, or visible. So let's change ours to auto and run. And now if we resize horizontally, our scroll bars will show up. Now, if it's long enough vertically, only our horizontal will show up. And if it's long enough horizontally, but not vertically, only our vertical one will show up. So they will appear as needed if they are both set to auto. Occasionally, you want the functionality of a scroll viewer, but you don't want to see the scroll bars. Maybe you're making a very slick UI or you're scrolling programmatically. Whatever the case may be, you can set your properties to hidden. And that doesn't actually disable the scrolling, it just hides away the scroll bars. So if we run this now and we resize it, we have no scroll bars, but we can use the typical mouse and keyboard behavior to scroll. So if I use my scroll wheel on my mouse, I can scroll vertically and I could use my arrow keys on my keyboard to scroll horizontally. So that can be useful, but generally I stick with auto on both. So that wraps up the basics of using a scroll viewer. Next up, we're going to talk about customizing application windows. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Happy coding. And until next time, as always, take care.